we are here installing two Western Digital Red four terabyte hard drives into the TerraMaster F2210 NAS device, which is basically a network attached storage. I plan on doing this in RAID 1 where the drives are mirrored to each other. That way I have full redundancy if one drive fails while the data is backed up another. If you want, you could do RAID 0 striping where you use all eight terabytes and it writes data and stripes across both drive, or you could simply use it as this expanded storage where you have just eight terabytes of data sequentially using one or the other. In general, I recommend using RAID 1 so you have failover. I don't recommend RAID 0. I don't recommend striping data across the drives because if you lose one of the drives, 100% of your data is lost. So I don't recommend RAID 0 unless you don't care about the data and you rather get the right performance to stripe the data across both drives. I prefer RAID 1 or don't use RAID at all. And because there's only two drives, you really don't have option for RAID 5. You need a third drive for RAID 5. So what you do is you open up one of the bays and of course you got the hard drive there. It comes with the screws and the little screwdriver, so I'm using the included stuff rather than anything else in case people didn't have their own separate toolkits. Looking at the way the device sits, um, the way it sits is like this. Making sure it goes like that. Okay, so it sits like this because I could tell that the, sl the way the slots line up in the back, the way that the SATA and the power lines up. Let's go ahead and screw it in. Okay. With the screws to line up. Oh, there you go, they're in there. All right, which ones do you want to use? The black ones or the silver ones? I'm assuming it's the silver ones. Let's find out. Let's see. Let's that. Okay. Again, you don't have to do it too tight, just tight enough to. It's not, this is not like a table that you have to make sure it's so secure and so tight that it's going to be shaken. So you don't want to strip the threads, you don't want to damage it. You just want to gently do it till it's nice and tight, but you don't have to force it. Okay. In. Next one. Let's tear this open here. Again, you could use SSD drives, but you don't want to waste the money with SSD drives. The NAS is meant for long term storage. You don't really need it to store high performance items. It's not designed for you to say run games off of as a gaming drive. It's strictly meant for you to store up your media, back up your stuff. So it uses mostly, it's most efficient to use hard drives, not SSD drives for a NAS. And you could though, it does support 2.5 inch SSDs if you wanted to. I just think that's not a good value. I'd rather have a lot more storage and I don't need the performance of an SSD in a NAS backup drive. But you could get two 16 terabyte drives for, you know, 16 terabytes mirrored or whatnot. Okay, how we do this right? Nope, goes like this. Put that there. And we're done. We now have both hard drives in. To set up the TerraMaster NAS, you want to install the TNAS application on your Windows computer. So you'll install the app, you'll open it up, and then it should detect your TerraMaster NAS drive that's on the network <coughs> once it's plugged into the network via Ethernet cable. So you'll see that it'll detect the drives that are installed and it'll have to validate them.
After it does a quick check on the drives, which could take a few minutes, it'll show you that they passed validation and your drives are good. Now, again, remember, if you're doing any sort of RAID mirroring, the drives have to be exactly the same size. Click Next and install the TOS system, which is the TerraMaster operating system onto the drive. It's kind of a Linux variant OS, and it allows you to install a whole bunch of multiple apps. And it takes probably a few minutes. I'm going to accelerate and fast track the time here so it doesn't take so long. After it installs the TOS, then it needs to actually restart the NAS. So that in itself takes another few uh, moments. So overall factor, at least 10 minutes for the installation setup of the operating system on the TerraMaster NAS before you can start using it to uh, migrate data over to it and use it as a hard drive storage system. After it reboots, you're going to configure the storage space, and you'll see it will want to default to RAID 1, which is mirroring, where one hard drive will mirror exact data to the other. So in this case, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted my two 4 terabyte drives to be mirrors of each other in case one drive goes bad. So I'll go ahead and format the RAID. If you didn't want to use it in RAID and you just wanted to use, say, two drives have the capacity of both drives, then you could either RAID 0 stripe them, but I don't recommend that. I'd, if you were going to use two drives separately, I would just write them independently rather than stripe them, because then if one drive goes bad, you lose data on both drives. So I like redundancy, so RAID 1 it is for me. Okay, so after the RAID's formatted, then you're going to see that it's time to log in to your TerraMaster operating system, or TOS 4.x. So you enter your credentials, you log in, and you'll have your OS desktop for your drive. So here is where you get to look at your drive itself, go through your folders, manage your drive, install applications. You could see the health monitor at the bottom right showing you the status of your drive, the CPU utilization, memory utilization, resource utilization. It has actually a really good monitor. You can get AWS app installed, Dropbox, Box, you know, um, Google Cloud. There's so many apps to choose from. Plex Media Server, I particularly love. You can even install and host a WordPress and PHP from your TerraMaster drive. 